Hello and good morning. I'm Nikki Boyer. Welcome to Morning Canvas. Here is your daily dose. Today, the renowned Tanglewood Music Center observes one of its most beloved traditions, Tanglewood on Parade. After a full day of family activities, three major orchestras, the Boston Symphony Orchestra, the Boston Pops, and the Tanglewood Music Center Orchestra will perform together in a single massive concert that culminates with the traditional Tanglewood finale, Tchaikovsky's 1812 Overture. And yes, there will be fireworks. Shakespeare fans, here's a question. Was Titus Andronicus merely the bloodiest play the bard ever penned? Or was it also, as poet T.S. Eliot remarked, one of the stupidest and most uninspired plays ever written? Either way, audiences are rushing to the off-Broadway production, Puppet Titus Andronicus, where all the gore is made of silly string and the dismemberments are played for laughs. It's at the Beckett Theater in New York City through August 16th. The hammer of Thor is about to pass into new hands, and those hands are female. You heard me right. Thor is now a lady. Now, we don't know much about the new Thor, who debuts in the comics come October, but Marvel series writer Jason Aaron wants to make things clear. This is not she Thor. This is not Lady Thor or Thorita. This is Thor. This is the Thor of Marvel Universe. But it's unlike any Thor we've ever seen before. Message received. Going on in Scotland right now is one of the greatest collections of arts and performance festivals on the face of the planet. The Edinburgh International Festival doesn't officially open until Friday, but the world-famous Fringe Festival is already underway. For the next three weeks, theatrical companies, orchestras, and performance troops from all around the world will converge on Scotland's sleepy capital city to create a celebration of the arts that is unrivaled anywhere. The Whitney Museum of American Art is getting a new home in downtown Manhattan, which opens to the public in the spring of 2015. Designed by architect Renzo Piano and situated along the Hudson River, the new building will include approximately 50,000 square feet of indoor galleries and 13,000 square feet of outdoor exhibition space, allowing the Whitney to provide a comprehensive view of its unsurpassed collection of contemporary American art. Thanks for watching and make sure to tune into the full morning canvas every weekday from 7 to 9 a.m. And I'll see you tomorrow.